Now, Brazil booked their place in the World Cup quarterfinals after their comfortable victory over South Korea, but their dancing after each goal has got some people very riled up. Roy Keane had his say on the celebrations last night. He was on ITV. He was talking about the fantastic finish by Vinicius. Great start to the game, but he's never seen so much dancing. He couldn't believe what he was watching. He said it was like watching Strictly. He said, I don't like this. People say it's their culture, but I think that's really disrespecting <laughs> the opposition. So we open the phone lines, 03717 That is the number. Les is a Bristol City fan, and he has called up to say his piece on this whole thing. Les, good morning to you. Morning, Les. Good morning. Good morning from sunny Avonmouth. <laughs> Good morning, Les. Les, come on, what do you think about this? You, you love a bit of dancing, don't you? Well, I guess, well, yes, I love dancing. I love Strictly and all that sort of thing. But what I, I have to say, I don't like um, choreographed goal celebrations. So that is, I have to say that to begin with. But honestly, last night, it was doing my head in. I'm all in favour of spontaneous joy. I mean, um, Henry was talking about Pele and Tardelli, uh, those fantastic celebrations. And um, you can even go back to Nobby Styles dancing around Wembley. And of course, that is, it was, it's fantastic. So I'm all in favour of that. But it's when when they they're like children and they do these choreographed things by the corner flag, and it just drives me up the wall. So uh, if it if it is a, a regular choreographed, a regular spontaneous thing to do. Why didn't they do it against Serbia when they scored? No, they were excited then. They just jumped around and jumped on each other. But last night, they'd obviously decided, tell you what, we'll all get round in a circle. And with the first goal, you could even see they stood and waited for everyone to catch up. <laughs> Les, well, well, the first thing I've got to say to you, uh, uh, it's the first time I've ever heard a comparison with Nobby Styles and Pelly in the one <laughs> statement. But in all seriousness, Les, it's a joyous occasion. It's a World Cup. It's the Brazilians. That's what they do. They dance. They sing. They're happy. Surely we can allow... If we, I mean, we can't allow the Brazilians to do it. It's, it's, it's finished for us always. I, yeah, I'm all, I'm all in favour of them dancing in celebration. But by the time the last bloke had got there, the moment had gone. It was time to kick <laughs> off. It was always time for the advert. <laughs> it's like being last on the dance floor, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, Les, Les maybe, maybe it's because it was the bigger occasion. It's knockout football, and this time they were like, right, well, look, the quarterfinals is beckoning. Maybe they were more excited, so they felt that a, a bigger celebration was in order. I'll tell you something else, Les. You send me a picture of you if England score the winner against France, and I'll bet you're dancing about that living room. <laughs> I'll bet you any money you're dancing about that living room.